Yes, sir, man. We're back at it again with another My Hero Academia Ultra Remote video. Y'all know what the vibes is. We finna go crazy with another character concept. Today, we have my man's Izawa, though. Now, I'm not gonna lie. If you've seen the Hogs video, you already know how the flow of this video is gonna go. This Izawa one is, is gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? Because this is one that I'm not that 100% sure on how to balance this character. Because Izawa himself, he's, he's kind of broken, right? When you really sit down and think about it. He negates other people's quirks, and in a game like Ultra Rumble, where literally fights don't last that long because it is a battle royale, you're pretty much going to have a quirk negation up every single fight, and his win percentage is going to be insane with Aizawa. So it's like, how do I balance this character? So this is going to be more of an interactive video between me and y'all, and if y'all got any tweaks to what I'm going to say about Aizawa, then please let me know down below in the comment section, because I would definitely love to come back and reflect to this video if we ever do get an eyes with trailer to drop someday. I'm sure he's going to be in the game because he's super popular, but definitely, definitely, that's going to be one character to watch because he can definitely shake up the whole meta of the game. But if you're new here, basically how these concepts go, we're going to talk about three abilities and we're going to talk about a passive and an ultimate for the character. Now, of course, the first ability of Aizawa is going to be revolved around his quirk, which is negation. Now, of course, we all know how this works, so there's no really reason for me to go into depth about it. But the thing that I do want to talk about is the cooldown of this ability. Because the cooldown of this ability has got to be vast, bro. Because cooldowns in this game, I'm not going to hold y'all. They're non-existent. And you can get ability cards and put on your character to increase the ability region of said ability. And that, that's going to be broken, bro. And especially at the higher levels, like level 8, level 9. Using this ability, you're probably going to have this for every single fight. And you're just going to auto win a fight because literally... The person you're fighting can't fight back. So that's going to be definitely crazy. And it's the same thing that I said in the Hawks video. It's like, bro, how do you balance Aizawa and how do you balance a million? Those are like two characters that came to my mind where I'm like, they're going to be super hard to balance. And I'm not going to lie. The devs for this game, they definitely been balancing these characters. Besides All Might, he's broken. But the devs have been going crazy with the characters. So... I, I'm already knowing they're going to keep that trend, but I really feel like the only way for that is for the internal cooldown of Aizawa's quirk negation to be super long. So if you agree or disagree, let me know down below in the comment section. I just feel like that's the only way to healthily balance this man, if that makes sense. Now for the second ability, what I'm going to do is going to be a command grab. Now, of course, we all know Aizawa. He's more of a close range fighter. I say so in my opinion. He's more of a close range fighter than he is a ranged one. So doing a command grab with his bandages and bringing someone towards you is going to be clean. Because look, bro, peep game. If you bring somebody towards you with the bandages, right? And they're within your bandages, you can negate their quirk and just start beating the fuck out of them. <laughs> like, that's going to be clean. Those, those abilities have synergy with them. I don't know why I just had a blank. <laughs> that was insane. Those abilities are going to have synergy with each other. So that's, that's going to be crazy. I'm already knowing Izo's kit is going to be nasty, bro. Now, for the third ability, though, this is where I kind of started acting like Patrick. I'm like, bro, I, I, what am I thinking of? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... This ability, I ended up giving him just a movement ability because the first two were that cracked. And I really feel like Aizawa can really smooth around the battlefield with his bandages. That, that would just make the most sense to me because he has done that before. He has used them for movement. He doesn't do it all the time, but he has used his bandages for movement before. So it's like that that just makes the most sense. Because like what else can you give him? He has a close ranged ability and he also has quirk negation. Maybe if you gave him like a ranged ability where he can shoot his bandages out. But that doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe, maybe if, if he, like, I, I don't know. You feel me? Like, I don't know. That This is really confusing about Aizawa's kick. It's like, the first two abilities literally do everything that you need. So, the third one, like I said, I just gave my man a movement ability. I just feel like that would round off his character perfectly. And in terms of an ultimate ability, I'm already know. I'm seeing the comments. So you're going to be like, yo, that's broken. Like, what are you doing? But look. It's his quirk, bro. That just is what it is. So, Aizawa for his ultimate ability. I'm not going to lie. I gave it to where it's kind of a more amplified version of the first quirk where you literally you could just negate one person. Aizawa, I, I say everything within his field of view is just going to get negated. It's just that simple. I feel like that would be a really good ultimate ability if that makes sense. Because, like, Aizawa, he has locked down multiple people at once. Y'all seen when they was fighting the Nomus, literally everything within his field of vision is getting locked down. So I feel like that would be a really good thing for ultimate ability, just to have a more cracked version of the first one. And in terms of his passive, honestly, I'm going to leave that up to y'all. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section, because I mean, like, what kind of passive would Aizawa have, right? Maybe, maybe, hold on, hold on, maybe Aizawa's passive is like he can't consistently use 
his quirk negation because his eyes start to get dry. But then it's like, when you think about that, it's like, bro, that, it sounds kind of dumb. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you're kind of just going to essentially take away one of your abilities the more you go throughout the game. But it will stay true to the character. That, that That's why I came up with that. So you let me know down below in the comment section if that's a good passive. Other than that, though, you already know what the vibes is. I really feel like this is a good one. So, of course, I'm going to be looking in the comments for y'all input as well. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for Lamillion. Lamillion is definitely going to be up next. That's going to be a real hard one because it's like, how do you balance somebody that can't get hit? But I'm super excited to dive into that. And if you're new here, y'all seen how excited I am for Ultra Rumble. So, of course, go down there. If you're excited, subscribe as well. Hit that like button while you're down there. Other than that, though, it's been a Kid Prox. Y'all be easy, man. And enjoy the holidays. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.